You can find him in the desert, you can find him by the sea. He'll climb a rocky mountain, he will nap under a tree. If you come along with pups, it's about discovery. So let's hit the trail to see what we will see. Hey grandchildren, it's Pops, and today the trail brings us to an airport. It's the Deer Park Airport in the state of Washington, and we're at a very special place on the airport known as a glider port. And why? Because behind me is a glider. Is, is there anything you can see about a glider that's different than a regular airplane? Let's go find out. The first big thing that's different is there's no engine on this airplane. That's right, another airplane tows it up into the air and the glider just glides down. But how does it stay up in the air? It's simple. If the air is going up faster than the glider's coming down, then the glider will stay up. If it's not, then the glider will just come on down and land. There's another big difference here and that there's only one wheel. It has just the one wheel where the glider lands and then it has special wheels out on the wingtips we'll look at so you can put a wing down once the glider slows down. Let's walk around the glider and look at all the controls so we know how we learn to fly this airplane. So you probably know what this is called. This is the wing. It's like any other airplane and it, it's there to support the airplane when it flies. These are special struts that help keep the wing attached to the glider. And this little piece right here is called a spoiler. When you're flying the airplane, sometimes you want to go higher or lower, and this helps you do that. And when you, when you don't want to use them, they close up and the wing is nice and smooth. Let's go out to the outside of the wing. And these are the special wheels on the end of the wing so you can put one wing or the other down once you land on the main wheel. So how do we control the glider when we're flying it? Well, you want to be able to turn like this and you want to be able to go up and down and you want to be able to do this with the nose of the glider. So we have three main controls. This one right here is called an aileron and they move like this on the end of the wings and they help the airplane when we want to turn it like this which is called a roll. This part of the glider like all airplanes is called a fuselage and that's where we sit in the front of it and it holds the wings and the tail and if we go back to the tail, we call this a rudder. Actually, this is called a vertical stabilizer, and the one on the back that makes the airplane do this, that's a rudder. And this is a horizontal stabilizer right here, and the back of this is called an elevator, and it makes the airplane go up and down. You can see when we move the elevator and the rudder how the controls move. This part of the glider here is called a pitot tube, it has kind of a funny spelling, and the air goes inside the tube and goes down into the cockpit where you sit, and it's what supplies information to the instruments we're going to see. So this part of the cockpit is called a canopy, and of course it's clear so we can see through it and it opens and closes so we can get in the glider. Like this and it has a special cable that holds it and then this is where you sit. Back here the person teaching you to fly sits right here and when you're learning you sit right here in the front and this is the stick we talked about. As you can see you can move it and it moves the controls of the airplane and this is for the spoilers on the wings that goes back and forth and then this is our instrument panel and this tells us how high we are 
and this one tells us how fast we're going and this one tells us if we're going up or down and this big red knob right here you pull when you want to release the tow rope I'll show you where the tow hook is down here this is our tow hook and you can see that it goes up in here and locks in this little plate and they put the tow rope right here we'll show you that in just a minute and when the airplane that's towing us uh, hooks up it takes off and you'll see that it's all hooked up here and then when you're done and being towed up and you just want to be a glider by yourself you release this with that big red knob in the cockpit so you're probably wondering what this big hole is on the front of the glider and actually that's to let air into the cockpit so you, you get some fresh air while you're flying and this is actually a handle that lets you move the glider around when you have someone helping you. Alright, let's go out to the flight line and see what it's like when you hook up the tow plane to the glider. Join us next week as Miss Shauna takes her first glider ride and Pops lands a glider by himself at age 14. It's been fun on the trail. Thanks.